Thanks for joining me again. And finally, after months of waiting, you're going to watch me install the uh, interlock kit for the uh, generator uh, onto, the onto the electrical panel. So that way you can safely switch between the uh, power from your power company to the generator should you lose power and have it feed your entire panel rather than backload your panel through some unsafe means through an outlet. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through in a second here just the, the few things that we're going to install and then you're going to watch uh, watch me do it with the assistance of my neighbor who also works for uh, the power company doing it together and uh, we'll take you through uh, every single step of the way so uh, hopefully this is going to be a helpful video for you if it is please hit that like button and share thanks very much so what we have here is the interlock kit the uh, inlet power inlet box and also the cable that you're going to need to you're going to plug one end into the uh, generator and the other end into the uh, inlet box okay so first let's look at what the uh, interlock kit is and it's basically really this piece here that's going to get installed up here here's the 30 amp breaker that we have for the generator it's re it's ready to go and uh, in order to to uh, it'll be installed here in order to flip the uh, breaker on for the generator you, you're gonna have to push it upwards it's gonna slide up okay and uh, in order to do that you're gonna have to flip the main breaker off so the concept here is you don't want the generator power coming into this breaker and then also backloading the street potentially harming uh, a, uh, a worker that's working on the lines if you have a power failure so you have to flip the main off before you can flip on the uh, breaker for the generator and that's what this uh, safety uh, interlock kit does. It, it prevents the, the two from being on at the same time. So then we, we're going to install the power inlet box on the outside of the house and basically um, the wire is going to come in through here and we're going to wire it to here and that's where you're going to plug the other end of the cable in. Okay, It's not that difficult but it is a uh, careful process that we're going to go through. So uh, just stay with me and we'll, we'll take you through all the different steps. So we got the uh, panel cover off and also removed uh, a little piece of the pegboard so we can see the other side of the wall here where we're going to come in from the outside. And uh, then we're going to go straight up into the panel and you can see where the screws are coming through uh, from the other side on uh, where the ground is is contained uh, coming down from the from the panel on the outside we're gonna probably uh, come in just to the left here I'm gonna show you what I mean on the other side so here's where those screws were that you saw a few minutes ago and we're gonna put the box somewhere in this area that way we're inside that stud that we saw over here The wire we're going to be using is 10-3 with ground. So the first thing we're going to do is wire up the uh, box. You can see uh, putting the collar on and basically measuring out about six inches worth of uh, cable or wire that we're going to need and then uh, tightening the collar on, installing it into the box and now stripping the wires with this pretty cool tool that I'll show you again later. We'll use it again later and um, I'll get you a close-up of it towards the end of the video. Pulling the insulation back and then um, as soon as we're done with that cutting it away get the cut. and then stripping the wires. Uh. So uh, at this point installing the ground so you have the ground wire coming from the box to itself right there at the screw point 
and then the other ground wire in there is gonna is the uh, 10 3 with ground wire that we purchased uh, from the store and we're gonna install the uh, the neutral white and also at the, on the back of that outlet there you'll you've got a couple choices and this one is the one that's most important where it says W uh, you're going to install the white one to where it says W and when it comes to the uh, red and the black it really doesn't matter which one of the two screws you install that onto so we've got the uh, those happening right now feeding the wire through so it was important to in install the wire onto the box beforehand uh, so that way it just makes it easier to do that in the garage now we had marked out a spot on the wall on the exterior putting the screws in not too tight we had to make a couple of adjustments in and out just because we were pushing the siding in just a little bit too much back it back off on the screws a little bit and now um, installing the box itself carefully bending the wires they're very thick 10 gauge wires are thick carefully bending them in so that way the cover fits snugly and then there's just, just one screw to hold it on now and it's on nice and tight nice and firm we're taking out the uh, the knockout on the uh, on the panel and installing a staple per code check your local code to see how often you need to install a staple for wire inside the wall now we're measuring up how much wire we need before we cut it we're going to go about six inches past that 30 amp breaker at the top installing the, the collar here tightening it down and now we're stripping the wire I'll show you this tool that's really kinda neat isn't it look at the end you can see the little piece in there that strips the wire okay. very helpful we're gonna cut that back and now we've got the, uh, the ground getting installed here very tight you know you want to tighten down those screws and you've got the neutral tighten that down like I said very tight you can't afford to have anything shake loose and then we're gonna go with the uh, again it doesn't matter red or black to this uh, 30 amp breaker they're both hot and it doesn't really matter tighten them down so this is the uh, the uh, the guide the plate that where you could mark your drill points on the back of your panel cover so we marked it out and now we're drilling first with a uh, we're gonna do some pilot holes drill three, three pilot holes and then we're gonna come back with the uh, the gauge uh, bit that we need uh, for the final installation after the pilot holes are we we found that we had to go back and bore the hole just a little bit wider even after using the right bit now installing the uh, the protective guard here so that way you don't uh, have the main open and your generator uh, breaker open at the same time and those screws are meant to have a little room there so that way that can slide up and down now installing the, the panel back on Okay, we're all finished now and uh, the uh, switch is here the kits installed it's really like I said just this one piece and I'm not going to be flipping the main breaker off to show you how it slides up because we've got 
computers and other things happening in the house right now. I don't really want to uh, reset all that. But um, like I said earlier, to to engage the uh, the breaker for your your um, generator, you're just going to flip the main off. Slide this up out of the way so that way the breaker can flip. And that's it. I'm going to uh, talk about where you can get this thing now. Now that we're all finished, I want to talk about the, the parts that we used again. And, uh, um, well, it's 95 degrees out and I'm dying right now. But um, anyhow, this uh, Square D generator interlock kit, I'm going to link to it in the description below. And if by any chance over time uh, they make an improvement to the kit, I'll adjust the link uh, in the description to make sure that I'm reflecting what I would recommend you use for your kit for your panel. Also, the same thing when it comes to the, uh, uh, the wire that you're going to use, the, uh, the cord, to connect the kit to your generator. I'll show you where, where I got mine. And, uh, and of course the, uh, the box, which I can't show you now because it's installed on the side of the house. You can get that anywhere at your home, local home improvement store, but I actually bought mine online and I'll link to it as well. Uh, anyhow, now I wanted to also mention that, um, you know, if you're not comfortable working with electricity, then maybe you don't want to tackle this job. Um, you, can, you can definitely have uh, an electrician do it for you. They will charge you quite a bit of money. The other thing is, is you need to look into um, whether or not you need a permit to do this in your area. So, you know, I had to change my electrical panel not too long ago, and I included this uh, this kit and the, the box on the exterior as part of the um, uh, the uh, permit. And the uh, the electrical inspector is going to come back out after I, I let him know that this part has now been done. He'll inspect this too. So I really hope that this helped you. If you have any other questions about the process, please let me know. I really am looking, I'm not looking forward to having a power outage, but if we do have one, I'm looking forward to not having to run extension cords all over the place from the, um, from the generator or illegally uh, back, you know, powering the, uh, the panel through an outlet, which I admit I've done before, but it's not the smartest thing to do. Uh, this is the safest way. This is the best way. I'm so glad that it's done now. Like I said, if you have any other questions, just let me know, and I'll answer them pretty quickly. Thanks again for watching, and um, we'll see you next time.